Hey guys, what's happening? Just wanted to do a quick video here in the personal rig update as we're approaching the end of 2020 and beyond. So here it is currently, not in its final form, as I do plan on upgrading the processor and graphics card. Currently I got a 3700X and a 1660 Ti, that's slightly overclocked. Plan on upgrading to a 5800X, maybe a 5900. Um, not sure yet, of course, that's going to require a new cooler, so we'll probably switch to an AIO of some sort. Um, as for the graphics card replacement, not sure if it's going to be NVIDIA or AMD yet. I game on 1440p, so wasn't real impressed with the Ampere performance. 4K, yes, 1440p, not so much. Just not real impressed with the Ampere product stack, to be honest. Uh, plus, there's some chatter in the forums about some issues that NVIDIA is having. But anyway, I'm curious to see what RDNA 2 has in store for us on the 28th. So uh, we have the 011 Dynamic XL, new motherboard from Gigabyte, X570 Aorus Elite, 16 gigs G Skill, Trident Z Neo, 3600 megahertz CL16. Let's see what else did I get? New SSD for the OS. Uh, 10 of the Easy DIY Fab uh, Pura white fans, which are currently in there. And they look really good in the 011. I love how the white case just really reflects the RGB lighting nicely. Um, and as you can see, uh, the colors are very bright, vibrant, 12 different colors. It's a little washed out on video, but I can assure you in person they look really good. And then the, from the white setting is when you can actually use your rainbow RGB. Uh, so there's one setting there. The second setting. Turn this lamp off here. There we go. Third setting. There's a fourth setting here, which I believe is only available with the uh, white color. You can't do this pattern with the other colors from what I can tell. So that's a fourth, and then a fifth setting. And um, yeah, I have no complaints with the RGB lighting. Uh, in terms of their performance, three speeds, typically just keep it on low, sometimes bump it up to medium during gaming, uh, but they're quiet, they move very well, they're awesome. No complaints. So that's it for now until we upgrade uh, power supply. Actually, I'm sorry. We did get a power supply in stock a couple days ago. 850 watts from Seasonic. 10 year warranty on this one, 80 plus gold. Currently have a 650 in there now. So these new GPUs are more power hungry. Um, I went ahead and I'm playing it safe with an 850. So, of course, that's going to call for new custom cables from Cable Modders. And I'll have to get a new cooler also because uh, the 5800X and 5900X don't come with coolers. So, I'll probably switch into an AIO of some sort. But that's the build for now. As for the rest of the battle station, primary monitor. Uh, 1440p LG, 27GL83A, 144 hertz, one millisecond response time. This monitor is my previous primary uh, from Zeus 248, wait, VG248QE. That's also 144 hertz, 1080p. This over here is an older monitor I've had, and I really just use it for monitoring software. 
It's got a resolution of 1600 by 1200, which isn't too common anymore. But I use uh, Afterburner with hardware info plugin for my OSD. And uh, that's pretty much it for now. Hopefully next time I post a personal rig update, it's with the Zen 3 processor or um, RDNA 2 card or something from Ampere maybe. I don't know. I just don't know yet. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Until next time.